Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to help Anim Step Gaming with a few questions he has. And he says, Drifty, you have a few questions? I hope you can answer them. I can't figure it out. I want to make an item which can be used to change an actor with an animation, a transformation stone. I'm not sure exactly what you mean, but I've made two different versions, so maybe one of these versions is what you're looking for. Question number two. I want to make an attack where I can get a flame icon, I've already made one, and it can be thrown several times at the foe. Okay, number three. I want to make a few cars go past randomly since my game is in a modern city. The cars go past smoothly and if you get hit by it, it causes a game over screen. If you can figure these out, it would be really helpful to me. Okay, Anim Step Gaming, let's see how fast we can do this. Uh, I'm going to show you the, the stuff I made real quick and then uh, I'll show you how to make it if any of this is interesting to you. Alright, so we've got some items. We've got our transformation stone. And this first version of the transformation stone is going to switch, uh, change actors, just like you said, basically. So we have Drifty in the party. We're going to use the transformation stone. And now we no longer have Drifty. He's transformed into Anubis. If we use the transformation stone again, it's going to transform Anubis back into Drifty. Okay, the second thing, the flame icon. You can throw this item at an enemy to deal fire damage. Got overlapping music, sorry about that. Uh, you can't use it outside of battle, but let's go into battle. We've got our flame icon, we can throw it at an enemy, and using this icon doesn't consume it, so I can keep using it. It's like another skill that doesn't take any resources. Um, I think that's what you were asking for. Okay, so imagine this thing here going back and forth as a car. All you have to do is change the icon to a car, so the same uh, thing will apply. And if I try to sneak past, oh, it killed me. I pressed down. So let me show you what I've done real quickly. The first thing you've uh, asked for is the transformation stone. So let's make an item or transformation, uh, transformation stone. We're going to make it a regular item. It doesn't need any scope. Occasion will be always. Uh, it's not consumable. That way you can use it over and over. Whatever animation and other stuff you want. Basically, all it's doing is calling a common event. So let's go to our common events. So for this first common event, it's checking if the party member that you have is in the party. If they are, we're going to remove that uh, party member and replace it with another party member. Like say you're using some moon token and uh, this player is like a, this character is like a, a lichen and they can transform into a werewolf. So you would remove the player, add the werewolf. And then this is a, basically a conditional branch. So you'd right click insert new conditional branch. And you would see uh, on actor two, uh, um, on tab two, you have uh, an actors. So you'd select that actor, create an else branch, and uh, inside that first thing, you remove the main actor and add the werewolf or whatever other actor you want. And then on the else handler, you would remove the werewolf or the other actor and add the other party back. Now, if this isn't exactly what you're looking for, I have another transformation stone. Maybe this is what you're talking about. So um, I'll explain it real quick since we're here. It's, it's basically going to keep the same actor. It's just going to change their images. So if you wanted to keep the same actor, you just wanted to change the images, then you can do it this way. <clears throat> this way, you just do a conditional statement, same thing. Um, but we're checking for a switch. So we'll create a new switch, call it exclamation stone. We'll say if it's off, uh, and then we'll do an else, else uh, branch. So if the switch is off, it's going to change the actor images of the actor you wanted to. It's going to turn on that switch. Otherwise, so it means if you use this item again, if the uh, it's going to change the actor images back to a different set of images, and then it's going to turn off the switch. So you can use it back and forth, switch between uh, images. So all I have to do is uh, allocate this common event, and we have two separate transformation stones. So the first time I was calling that one, but now we're calling the second one. So I'll show you this one really quickly. So now our transformation stone, instead of changing actors, let's look at our actor. We have Drifty as a Ronin here, and we use a transformation stone. Drifty, what happened? Now Drifty's a girl. So maybe that's what you're talking about. If we use it again, switches back to a boy and a girl. And looking at this car event, oh, we could get past the car, we can get past the car. But if the car touches us, boom, it hit us and killed us. 
So hopefully this was, I know this was kind of random for anybody who was watching, but there were some technique things in there. Hopefully you guys like this video. I'm sorry there hasn't, there wasn't a video yesterday. There's a lot of work for me on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and sometimes Saturday. Um, but luckily I have um, all of this weekend off. So I've got a lot of stuff planned. I've got like a whole backlog of special requests. I need to make about 10 videos. So expect to see about 10, maybe, I don't know, I don't want to promise anything, but there's going to be quite a few videos over this weekend until Monday night. Um, even Tuesday night. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, keep asking those special requests. I know I have a ton, but I could still, you know, add them to the list and get to them as soon as I can. So if you did like this video, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next tutorial.